Hello anime fans, I'm Brendan O'Hara and Aligato for joining me for another exciting edition of Animate. Today I'm talking about everyone's favorite anime about a small bear kidnapping high school students and forcing them to murder each other. That's right, I'm talking about Danganronpa. <laughs> Based on the visual novel of the same name, this series takes place at Hope's Peak Academy, an elite school where students who are the best in their field are invited to attend. These students are given titles of ultimates, such as Ultimate Fashionista or Ultimate Gambler. But the main character of this series is Makoto Naegi, who finds himself the winner of a raffle to become a student at Hope's Peak Academy, and thus becomes the ultimate lucky student. However, when he arrives at the school, he suddenly collapses and finds himself trapped in the school with several other students. They then meet Monokuma, a small bear who claims to be their principal and proposes a game to them. In order to escape the school, a student must murder another student and get away with it by getting someone else to be falsely accused in a clash trial. However, the punishment for being found guilty, whether you are innocent or not, is a very stylish and very brutal execution. Now there are plenty of things that make this series stand out, but first place in that category definitely goes to the characters. Each character is extremely unique and have their own little quips and quirks, and I found myself not really wanting any of them to die, but sadly this is not that kind of series, which brings me to the story. Danganronpa has some of the best twists and turns I've seen in an anime, and is one of the few shows, anime or not, that truly kept me guessing until the very end. Production was handled by Studio Lersh and directed by Seiji Kishi, known for Angel Beats and most recently Assassination Classroom, and they do a stellar job of translating dozens of hours of gameplay into an exciting series. How did they get trapped in this school? What is really happening in the outside world? Who is the face behind the bear? And how did this girl get that buff? To find out, you'll have to check out this fantastic series for yourselves. I also must mention that while this is an excellent standalone series, what really makes it for me is the ever-expanding universe of games, shows, and novels that only add to the quality of the franchise. In closing, I just have to say, Watch Danganronpa, play Danganronpa 2, and Ultra Despair Girls, or if you don't want to buy the game, just watch Gameplay on YouTube so you can get the gist of the story because they're also really good, and then for the love of everything that is good, watch Danganronpa 3 because it is amazing. But that's all I've got for you this time. Be sure to tweet out any thoughts or recommendations you might have to ZTV goofing off using the hashtag animate. Until next time, I'm Brendan O'Hara, and this has been Animate. <laughs>